Yes. And uh, there were other assets like uh, computers, tables, photocopiers. Okay, so we'll mark this. Eh? Yes. It's not addressed. Yes, it's not ad until they really confirm the building, but valuation report is there in okay. the subsequent year. Okay, proceed to the next query. Uh, it, it talks, everything touches up to motor vehicles, non-current assets, where valuation report was really carried out here, biological assets. So that one is taken care under property plan and equipment when we'll be reading chair. What is taken? Failure to disclose biological assets. Yes, they are not really captured in the, they don't not value so that they reflect the correct figures in financial statement. This includes uh, animals on Ye the farm? Yes, animals in the farm. So what is the status now? They have carried out valuation chair to capture all the animals in the farm, all the furnitures and everything within AD ADC. Okay. Funds transfer to county impressed account? Uh, they have not refunded just the way uh, Honorable, uh, Honorable Senator from Migori, the issue of that cross transfer is, was a challenge. Though the explanation they provide, Chair, maybe the, the committee can deliberate that it was actually used for the function of that uh, activity within the, 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 what they carry out within ADC. So they say they were using an agricultural show. So that the county executive used it for the activities which were related to ADC chair. We, I think that one will mark it uh, and, and uh, yes. an, uh, not addressed. Yes, maybe you can. Maybe uh, and you can balance get. budget. And balance budget. This was just an accounting entry chair. It was a mistake which they really in the subsequent year it was really corrected. Okay, budget control and performance. Not re not addressed, chair, because there was an issue of underperformance and under receipts. The same challenge as we had with the previous funds. Yes, chair. Where are you taking the book? Okay, so let's go to the year ended 2021. On 2021, the first observation chair is long outstanding receivable, which is the problem. Just a moment. Okay, proceed. Uh, the first one is related to 2020 chair, the issue of long outstanding receivable, which they also uh, borrowed the money, but they had not refunded. Because it was an accounting issue which was carried forward, which we said will deliberate. Then uh, the next one, Chair, is about budgetary controls and performance, the issue of all under, uh, under receipts and uh, under expenditure, Chair, which is like on 2020. No, there is something you have done. Oh. Uh, to, uh, so you say budget control and performance, what is the position? Uh, it is not addressed, Chair, because there was issue of underperformance and uh, under receipts and underperformance, Chair. So it remains to be deliberated by the committee. The regular operation of the fund? Uh, there was an prior uh, any issue, Chair, if you check uh, and prior issue which uh, the committee is deliberating on it, then uh, which the committee will de deliberate on the report. Then there was irregular operation of the fund. In terms of regular operation of the fund, Chair? Yes. Uh, currently it is partially addressed, although the, 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 the bill is already in draft form. They have already draft the bill to, opera, uh, uh, to operate this fund because they were using exchequer and uh, they were using a uh, legal notice of 1990, which was under exchequer and audit act 412 chair. Okay. 
So on this one, maybe Governor, you can tell us what is the why is the county assembly taking time to pass this bill? Chair, Chair all the demonstration farms in the country, all of them, yeah. have been using a document of 1990. Uh, therefore, we did not have um, an act for regulations getting the demonstration farms. But again, Chair, as it were, we have come up with a bill. I'm sure very soon there is public participation which should take place, then go to the assembly for passage or ascending by myself. Therefore, we are in the process, Chairman. Because I came in and I found that the document we are using is outdated. It could not be used anymore. Okay, maybe this one we just need to speed it up so that we address this query. Uh, because if it gets to next financial year, the query will still be there. Irregular operation of the fund, meaning without a substantive law. Uh, so, auditor, can we go to the 2021-2022? Uh, 2021 chair is the issue of long outstanding receivable which is also an, a recurring issue they have not refunded then the observation number two is land without ownership document which is still an outstanding issue not addressed though the management is in the process of acquiring the title deed then uh, the next issue is budgetary controls and performance chair, which is also a problem because there's underperformance affect the plan activities and may have impact negatively on service delivery to the public. Then the last one chair is about the uh, irregular operations of the fund, which uh, they, according to the management, it is in draft form, the bill. Those were the observation chair in that year. Okay. Um. So, so um, honourable members, looking at uh, what the audit has presented, we will, uh, for the year ended uh, 20 June 2020, I think the query on uh, plant, property and equipment, we look at it as our query number one. And then uh, we have uh, the query on funds transferred to county impressed as a query number two. Budget control and performance is recurring, so we'll pick the latest year. Then uh, the year ended June 2021. We have long outstanding receivable is recurring. So we'll uh, use 2022 as a base. Same applies to budget control and performance. Irregular operation of the fund, that one governor has uh, uh, said on record that uh, is going to speed up the legislation in the county assembly. So we now look at 2021-2022. Long outstanding receivables, we mark it as query number three. Land without ownership documents. Is it the same as the first one in 2020? It's the same as the first one. It's the same one. Yes. So we'll combine with this. Then uh, budget control and performance as our query number four. That is for the year ended 2022. So auditor, let's start with uh, the first query. 
which is uh, for the report of the year ended June 2020, plant property, uh, property plant and equipment. Chair, uh, query number four, property plan and equipment. As reported in the previous year, the statement of financial position reflect nil balance in respect to property plan and equipment as of 30 June 2020. However, examination of records provide for audit review and physical verification of the property plan and equipment reveal the following anomalies. Uh, 4.1, land and building. The fund are 32.9 hectares of land as of 30 June 2020 on which non-residential and residential buildings are built. However, the title deed of the parcel of land was not provided for audit review and no value of the land and building was disclosed in the financial statement. 4.2, motor vehicles. The fund was in possession of two motor vehicles, Nissan registration GK A809S and GK B709D and one motor vehicle uh, registration number GK a 919 m as of 30 june 2020 however management did not carry out valuation of these assets for the purpose of incorporating the values in the financial statement 4.3 non-current assets the fund was in possession of other non-current assets include furniture fittings office desk office tables office chairs computers photocopiers printers fish pawn, zero grazing units all over known value which were not disclosed in the financial statement. Consequently, the accuracy and validity and completeness of nil balance property plan and equipment as of 30 June 2020 could, could not be ascertained. Thank you, Chair. Uh, Governor, your written response. Chair, sure. thank you. The management uh, response. Um, the management concurs with the auditor's observation that Kisi Agricultural Training Center management had 39.32.9 39 hectares, which did not have a title deed and had not been valued as at 30th June 2020. However, the current management has undertaken valuation and updated the fixed assets registers July 2023. The process was completed and the value of the land have been included in the subsequent financial statement and all other assets. Further, the current management has put in place or in process acquiring title deeds for ATC land and survey done, part of the development plan done, the survey report submitted to National Director of Survey of Authentication and approval on issuance of registration. We hope to complete the process soon and acquire the title for ATC, uh, which those annexes have been put there as evidence of what is going on. The management concurs on motor vehicles, Chairman. The management concurs with the auditor's observation that Kisa Agricultural Training Center at two motor vehicles, Nissan pickup registration number GKA 809S and GKB 709D and one motorcycle, registration GKA 919M as, as 30th June 2020, which had not been valued. However, the management had disclosed the assets uh, as at 30th June 2020. The process was subsequently done and value of motor vehicles and motorcycles have been included in the subsequent financial statement, uh, reference annex to uh, 3AC. Other than current assets, the management concurs with the Auditor General observation that Kisi a graduate training center management was also in possession of other non-current assets, including furniture fittings, office desk, office tables, office chairs, computer, photocopies, printer, fishbone, and zero grazing units, all unknown value, over known value, and which were not disclosed in the financial statement. However, the management had disclosed the asset as 30th June 2020. The process was undertaken and the value of the other non current assets and have been included in the subsequent financial statement uh, refers to Annex 3A to C. Failure to disclose, Mr. Chairman, biological assets as reported in the previous year 
the statement of financial position reflects no balance against biological assets. However, the Board of Survey reports dates that June 2020 indicate that the fund had biological assets in the form of daily cows, fish bond, crop enterprises, mature forest, and agroforest and trees. These biological assets were, however, not valued and included in the statement of financial position as required under international public sector accounts standard uh, 27 agriculture. Consequently, Mr. Chairman, the accuracy, validity, and the competency of biological assets could not be ascertained, and the statement of financial position as that in 2020 is not fairly stated. Uh, that was you are reading as the uh, auditor. As the auditor, sorry, yeah, yeah. Chairman, I'd, uh, I thought that the, I was falling down. But may I read that uh, uh, response, Chairman? Management uh, response. Is that a separate uh, query, auditor? Yes. It's query number five, Chair. Oh, we'll come. We'll come to that. All right. Let's finish the first part. Yeah. So, uh, having listened to the response by the governor, auditor, what's your comment? Uh, the comment is they carried out valuation uh, exercise in 2021 chair, which they incorporated in 2021 financial statement. If you check, the total value of the unvalued assets by 2020 was 1.8 billion, of which land was 1.6 billion, the 32.9. What is a challenge here is the title deed ownership document for the land of the measuring 32.9 hectares. Thank you, Chair. Well, the governor stated that uh, they are in the process of acquiring the title, uh, having t done the surveys, the survey has been uh, submitted to the director of um, the survey. Yeah, so... I don't know, what is your comment on that? Yeah, it is still a process, Chair, until we see the title deed, because what is very important is that actual title deed to confirm ownership. Okay, now what about motor vehicles? A motor vehicles, it was the issue of valuation, which they incorporated in the valuation report. The other assets? Yes, even furnitures and desk, if you took in the next subsequent year, it was capturing all the assets, including the biological ones. So your main issue is... Uh the title yeah the main issue is the ownership which will also be recurring until we see the ownership document of this client okay governor maybe you do you have any time frame on the title chair uh i came with the minister for lands yes uh, she can help me answer that uh, waziri wa lands thank you chair i just want to confirm that the uh, the process is ongoing we already have uh, done the three items that have been mentioned. That, that is an uh, application. We have done the PDP, and uh, we have forwarded to the uh, Survey of Kenya. And uh, we also have communication to the NLC to fast track and also give us a, a document to that effect. We are following it up because also we have other uh, parcels that we are doing together with that, I submit. Oh, maybe uh, through the governor. Yeah. Do you confirm to the committee there is no encumbrances yes. on this uh, piece, of, piece of land? Yes, Chair, I can confirm there is no encumbrances on this piece of land. Okay. Thank I you, saw Chair. something in the media some time back. Uh, was it the same land or a, a different one? About uh, some people who are demanding ownership of that, some land, agricultural land. Is it the same one, Governor? No, Chair. That, that, that is a dam site which we have rehabilitated. And uh, some group of people, again, as usual, they would have wanted it because we have rehabilitated. But it's a different, it's not the agricultural training uh, center. Okay, Senator Uchinda, anything? This is uh, straightforward. We just wait for the title. Uh, Constance, you you want to say? I see you raising your hand. Yeah. 
Thank you, Chair, for the opportunity. I wanted to uh, raise out a point that uh, Kisi County have uh, never reported this as one of the funds in our reports. And uh, from the queries that are coming from the auditor, it looks more of uh, an agency than a fund. You are saying it looks more like an entity than a fund? Yes. And uh, in our records, they have never reported to us as one of the funds. Uh, CEC Finance through the Governor, why are you not reporting? Thank you, Chair. Uh, we have been having the challenge of the operation of, of the ATC, of the document which they had. It's now that we're working on the regulations and the acts that we can be able to regularize and report on the same. And the, that can also come from the Director for ATC. We have been having that challenge of reporting with which position are we going to report it because they, we didn't have the regulation on the same. Yeah, in fact, he's raising a very substantial issue that uh, this, in fact, even to me, it sounds more like uh, a corporation for the county, an entity, more than a fund. So what do you say about that? Thank you, Chair. Actually, it's more, it's more of a county as a section of the county. It is not registered as a business. We are using, we are even sharing the same thing. It does now that the office of the county, Antonia, have tried to move ahead so that we can make and uh, be in a position of uh, identifying it in the correct position. This is why we are working with the act of the same. Chair. Yes, uh, all agricultural training centers in the country, all of them, they have been run by this document. There is a document here of 1990. Yeah. It's, not a, it's not an act, it's nothing. It's just a, a document from the Ministry of Agriculture, which was guiding them. Therefore, when we found that it's, it's not regularized anywhere, we had to do exactly what the law requires of us to do. And that's why we are coming up with those uh, particular act and regulations. Uh, Tony, you want to say something? Proceed. Yes, Chair. Yes, proceed. Mm -hmm. Chair from the PFM regulations, Count Government 2015, if we check regulation 201 on county corporations and how they should be classified, the, the, this classification 1 to, I think, 4, and if you read that, it looks like it falls more of a county government entity under Schedule 4. Because here you will find under the ATC there is some aspect of even revenue being generated. They, are also, they also have assets that they own. So when you check the financial statements, they are a bit different from the other special county special funds where we are just allocating funds and spending or a revolving fund. So I think it's best we refer to the law and just see where it falls exactly. Yeah, so is there anyone from the legal department? Yeah. County attorney? There is none. So maybe governor, maybe you need to really look at it and uh, decide where it belongs to. I want to agree with, uh, with them that uh, since it is an entity that is generating uh, income uh, and uh, expenditure, you may need to consider it as an entity run by, just like the water company. Yeah. Just like the water company, and, and not a fund. Because if it is a fund, then uh, COB will be demanding that you, you, you file returns on uh, the monies that come in and out. Senator Mutinda? I think we just move forward because of uh, t time, but uh, I know more will come. Let's just proceed, Chair. So there, the, the issue there is the title, which the auditors, governor has explained that is in the process. And then maybe the next issue is uh, a decision needs to be made on, the, on this. 
uh, whether to run it as an entity or as a fund. Uh, with all indications, this is uh, an entity because of the income is generated and the assets that are there. So that is the um, first query. The second query. It was transfer chain. Yeah, the second query was a transfer, uh, but was it transfer or biological assets? Biological was valuation, but maybe through the chair you can. Yeah, that one. Uh, Yes, 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 sorry. Transfer, fund transfer to county impress account. Proceed. Uh, chair is uh, query number six in 2020, funds transfer to county impress account. Note 13 to the financial statement reflect Kenya shillings 4,713,000 in respect to transfer to Kisi county executive impress account. The amount was an advance to the county and was to be refunded after the county government received its funding from the national government. However, the funds were not refunded and were still outstanding as at the time of audit in December 2020. Consequently, the lawfulness and recoverability of the fund of Kenya shillings 4,713,000 transferred to the county government of Kisi during the year 30 June 2020 could not be confirmed. Thank you, Chair. Governor, you are written response. Chairman, thank you. Uh, whereas the management concurs with the auditor's observation on the outstanding balance of uh, 4.713 million transferred to Kenya to Kisi County Executive Impress account and its treatment as a receivable, the, these funds used for the purpose of facilitating South Kenya agricultural show that's Kisi Agriculture Show that promotes the activities of the funds and the Kisi County Missy Tourism, which offered an opportunity to showcase the queer products of the demonstration fund. This is a concurrence with the vision, mission, and mandate since the principal activity of the fund is to open days, is to train the farmers on modern farming through the field day program, farm based extension, and farmer open days like organized agricultural shows. The management would, would in subsequent financial year statement expense the fund on recoverability. We are in the process of reconciling accounts. We owe ATC and set off the advance of amount to, to of Kenya shillings 4.71300. And there are those extracts in such a uh, auditor, your comments? Yeah, the explanation was satisfying, Chair. The only thing is uh, they had really accepted to borrow, so they required to transfer. That is why I, I, I we buy that idea of uh, Senator from Migori that we need really to put things in correct perspective. Otherwise, the activities which were done on it were relating to ADC. Um, so how much was borrowed? Four million seven hundred and thirteen thousand. Okay, Eddie, your comment. It was first. Oh, proceed. Yeah, I want to be fair. Uh, who is the Nene, the fund administrator for this fund? Uh, Samle. Put yourself on record, please. Your, your name, please, mm -hmm. and your position. My name is uh, Benson Mutiso Mule. Yeah. I'm the principal KCATC. <laughs> Mutiso? Yes. 
in Kisi County. Yes. No problem. That's uh, that's good. For how long have you been there? I've been the ATC for one and a half years. But in Kisi County, I've been working in the Department of Agriculture for the last uh, 14 years. For 14 years? Yes. Now, we are back to, you are the fund administrator or the fund accountant? Yes. Which is which? You are the fund I'm administrator the, or the fund accountant? I'm the fund administrator in the institution. And you have a fund accountant? Do you? Yes, we have the fund accountant. Is he here with you or is she here with you? Mr. Nyandani is here. John? You can present the fund. So, John, you are a fund accountant for many funds. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. Why? Is it because you don't have other personnel governor to give the opportunity, such that you have one individual who's holding all these funds? Are there no people to work in these departments? John, John is the director of accounting services. Mr. Mley, you don't have an accountant? Yeah, the station. He must be having an accountant at the session. If we have an accountant at the session, but is it, she's answerable, answerable to John. No, no, I didn't ask where she's, he or she's answerable. I asked who that person is. Because you see, the fund administrator and the accountant are working like this, you know, because they need them to advise you. Are you a CPA holder? <coughs> no. I'm no problem. Not. Don't proceed from there. I don't want you to contradict yourself. Just be comfortable. There's no worry. We just get into understand. Where, why we are still having a common denominator of a problem, whereby we're still going back to the issues of non-appearance to the law, whereby monies are being transferred and they're not going back. But there's a common factor, that is John, who seems to be within this circumference of these funds, the way they are moving from uh, one account to the other. And, and the auditor, I want to disagree with you a bit when you say the functions were the same. From where I sit, when you talk about mistourism, you know men are not so much into it like women. When you talk about mistourism, it's a different showcase. It's a beauty pageant, uh, a platform that we get the, the, the Miss Kisi and Mr. Kisi when we say the county mistourism. That's a totally different event. So how does it come and uh, it's agricultural. How does a Miss Kisi become an agricultural event? Uh, hold on your answer, uh, auditor. But back to the uh, gentleman, you know, uh, with, in conjunction with uh, Mr. John. Why is still the same problems? Is it a culture that you developed and it's an okay culture until we have to get to this position where we are? Through the chair. And I'm Senator, we've learned a lot. This is my second appearance in Senate, and I've learned a lot, madam. I leave it at that. Uh, Eddie? <coughs> Board Chair, uh, before Senator Eddie, uh, for Senator Zabita, you know, Kiss is full of bananas. And even we do showcasing. Over... Have you brought some for us? <laughs> <laughs> uh, from the fiber, we do showcase. Uh, the outfits from uh, bananas. Therefore, for Miss Tourism, would have actually uh, just you know thinking that uh, she would have uh, worn uh, the outfit from the banana fiber. Uh, therefore, it could be right. Though I was not there, but I'm sure that it could be part of it. <laughs> we, we we beg you leave it at that, eh? because your accountant has uh, acknowledged the error. Because you were not there. Yeah. Ready? Uh, Chair, cha 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 I think that for the, for the interest of time, I wanted to refocus on, uh, on the query at hand. Uh, again, money was lent and money needs to be recovered. That's the query at hand. And it's as simple as such. Uh, governor and, and, and governor has actually acknowledged here. But I mean, it will be in subsequent financial statement expense, the funds to recover this fund. I think that's the answer. But I think that, Chair, 
there, there, there are two issues with, with, this, with this particular query. And, and one you have spoken to very clearly, but I don't think it's solved. I think that that is what needs to be solved in this committee. Whether this thing is a fund or is a corporation. And the, the moment you're running profit and loss account, because I, 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 I can see from your financial statement that actually for the, what you're calling the fund has barely received money from the county. From, from your profit and loss. Uh, it's actually uh, a viable corporation under, under section, uh, I think section 182. And I, I hope you're taking notes. Uh, look at section, section 182 of PFM Act on establishment and dissolution of county corporations and additional requirements for county corporations and county government linked corporations. So this is, this is where, where the linked element comes in place. Uh, and Chair Paps, what we need to solve and advise, because I, I think this is a very, a very big potential corporation, governor, uh, that we need to solve for that definition, whether you are intentional to retain it as a fund, for which then it means that the profit and loss accounts must then be made something else, or whether from where you sit, the potential you see for this particular entity is to make it a full-fledged corporation. For me, that's the fundamental thing about this query, that we need to solve uh, chair, because if we solve that, then other things start falling in place, including the, the recoverability of this amount of money. Then we can start talking about, is there a potential that from the profit and loss account that you're running currently, the cash flow is giving you confidence that you'll be able to get money from that particular uh, element, may, maybe write off what had been to the county government. And when the county government is bringing it in, does it subject it to, to section 162, I mean 182? Because now 182 on corporation says, Definition for purposes of section 182, which I read for you earlier, and 183, which is more about the restrictions that are put in place, and section 184, which is the responsibility that are given to the gentleman. Is it a fuller? The responsibility that are given to a fuller as a corporation. And that one I'll read for you, Governor. It says, for Mulay. the purposes of section 182, it's, it's Mulay, not to Mulay, Mulay, sorry. Mm. Yeah, Mulay. So Mulay. For the purposes of section 182, 183, and 84, county government led corporations means a county corporation in which the county government is a, is a shareholder with less than 50% of the share capital of the corporation. And invest means any form of funding or potential funding providing provided to a county government corporation, including providing shareholder cap loans, capitals, or subsidies. The structure here means that if we choose to make it a corporation, then how that liability is solved will be within this premise of the law. But if it is a fund, then, and we choose to maintain it as a, as a fund, then it means that then appropriation is the tool for which that money is recovered. So I, I think I think Governor, perhaps we are we are going ahead of ourselves, Chair. We first of all solve that question uh, of do you want to make it a corporation or do you want to maintain it as a fund? My personal advice from what I've looked at your financial statement, I thought that was what I was reading here, is that Governor you've got a huge potential with this particular entity as a corporation. Huge potential. If you look at, uh, at uh, what's happening in, in, in Germany, Frankfurt, um, there are towns that are sustained purely by, uh, you know, exhibitions on agriculture. Pure, pure, pure exhibitions on agriculture. And Kisi is one of those. Because I, I travel home every single time. And right from the time that I leave Keroka, going all the way to Kiumbu, going all the way until I get to Suneka, women and men are selling amazing agricultural crops at a throwaway prices. And there's potential for this particular corporation to actually make it a very serious corporation that is, that is bringing money. So we solve for that question, Chair, 
then it's all for recoverability. But we will be mixing up and we say, oh, the county will do appropriation and then pay this back. I don't know what you think about us, the executive of the county. Ch Chair, yes. we recently yes. developed a, a Kisi County Corporation Act. Hence, ATC shall be part of uh, uh, the corporation once the, the act is in place and running. Uh, therefore, I agree with the Senator uh, Eddie that that is the way to go. So then that, uh, Governor, that, then that means you have to relook at the process of uh, the legislation that is before the county assembly. The bill. Because the bill uh, makes reference to the fund. Uh, it makes reference to the fund. So the, it's called the Kisi County Agricultural Training Center Draft Bill uh, 2024. Actually, that, that makes reference to a corporation. Yeah. So I think the thing is that you just need to you need to fast track the the enactment of that bill into law. Yeah. So I think uh, Governor has taken note of what you have said, Senator Eddy, uh, and uh, has noted in the response he is in the process of. Um, uh, repaying the funds which were transferred from uh, from the the, the 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 demonstration fund to the county. So, honourable members, let's look at query number three. Query number three is query, on, uh, query number three. Chair, it's almost like the one we have really dispensed right away. Is the long outstanding receivable? Yes, yeah, the same amount of 4.7 chair. Is the same? Okay. Okay. So, 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 so you, so you can regularize that uh, as a corporation, and then now this can be handled as a. A debt. So what? Okay, budget control and performance, which was the fourth yes. item. Yes. Proceed. Uh, the budget that is report.